that last day, we're here at nine o'clock in the morning, about three hours into our last pour. So we're just finishing off the wall pours in the inlet shaft. This is lift number 10, so pretty keen to get this one done and dusted. give you an idea that there's five and a half cubic metres per truck, so there was a lot of trucks. <laughs> These are the guys and girls who are doing all the hard work, and then often the pours start in the wee wee hours of the morning and um, no one complains, we just get up, uh, you know, do the hard work uh, while everyone else sleeps. Uh, it's been a long journey to get us to here. The focus is going to change towards uh, getting the TBM ready for launch and then they'll come back in and finish the pours in the uh, pump station proper. It's just our way of thanking everyone that's been working on the project to date. You know, they've done such a fantastic job and it's the least we can do. Now we are in the operator cabin and this is actually the brain of the wall machine. So here, when he's in a advanced mode, excavation mode, the operator is, he has to select this button here and then he can start uh, turning the cutter head, advance, and then he will operate through here the, the, the machine. Here, VMT is the system, uh, is the guidance system of the TBM. So we have a, a Theodolith, which is an instrument with a laser. It will give the coordinates to the operator to move the machine accordingly to the design of the tunnel. We are not talking about centimeters, but millimeters every time. So we have an accurate measure of, of the position of the TBM. It's a bit noisy because of course uh, all the rollers and the motors are, are generating noise but not from the ground. The workers in the tunnel boring machine they have to wear uh, earplugs. This is the hyperbaric chamber. This is actually to enter on the cutter head when we need to do any maintenance, special maintenance. So what's happening here is that the personnel that enter will be pressurized to the same pressure we have in the face so they can go and work. So we are inside the refit chamber. It's designed for uh, 10 people. We have two in the TBM, so 20 people in total. And uh, the people are here safe for at least 24 hours. They have food and water supply and all the communication uh, systems to communicate with the surface. So it looks uh, small from the first side, but when you get in, uh, it's quite uh, roomy. 
So it goes uh, from 10 to 15 kilometers per hour. This is the allowable speed inside the tunnel. And the maximum distance will be 7.5 kilometers from here, from Angere, up to May Road. We are using four max kips for each uh, loco. They are carrying the spoil of each excavation. Uh, the capacity of each uh, skip is uh, 15 cubic meters, so 60 cubic meters in total. It's enough for 1.6 meters of excavation.